we, we through our collaboration with the British High Commission, we have as our keynote speaker, Baroness Pharrell Benjamin, and she'll be doing the keynote address as an inspirational piece. She is of Caribbean descent, and she will be presenting to us on her experience as a as a actress, as a filmmaker, as an author. And we are very pleased to have the association with the British High Commission and, and we wish to thank them for their kinds of These workshops are strategy execution. We realize that several small <coughs> companies have you know good ideas, they have a strategy, but actually getting that strategy into execution is something that is not as clear as they would like. And we realize that these are enabling things. So that is one of the workshops that will be run by Alex McKenzie, who is a, a consultant with McKinney Brothers International, which is a company owned by our CEO and headquartered here in Barbados, but has 14 offices around the world. Uh, the other workshop is Growth Strategies for Entrepreneurs. That will be conducted by Professor Christopher Birch from Greenwich University. That is that's a, co a collaboration that we have with Greenwich University and they have been working with us. This is the second year they've supported us. And they're looking at how do you how do you grow your business from, from, from a micro business, how do you think about succession, how do you think about all the things you need to do to expand. Another workshop building on that is survival tips in a recession. Uh, I mean that, that is as relevant as it can get. And that will be conducted by Professor Steve Gould from Babson College. Uh, Babson College is the number one College for Entrepreneurship in the United States, and this is a couple of years running on. This is the second year that they have supported us, and it's a collaboration that we have formed with the BEF. There's also a workshop on funding and finance, which will be headed by Jerome Dwight of Royal Bank of Canada's Wealth Management. And also, that will be focusing on the, the, the business life cycle, the kind of finance you want at, at different times. And the final workshop will be strategies of internationalization. <coughs> we recognize by working with the Small Business Association, who is one of our strategic partners, that there are many small businesses who are thinking about expanding you know, regionally, internationally, and there are, there are specific things that you need to know and, and be aware of if you're expanding. And Babson College will also be sending a professor to, to lead that particular workshop. Uh, Kevin Mousky. And we also have from another collaboration with the U.S. Embassy, they will be sending someone from Customs and Border Protection to, to talk about if you're trying to place your products in U.S. markets, what are some of the requirements from all sorts of perspectives, from packaging to export. And these are things that we know from the Small Business Association that lots of their partners are looking to expand into these markets. So this is the reason why we have focused our workshops around these areas. And we think this is going to deliver real value to the entrepreneur and the community, enabling them to get more tools to build on. There's also going to be a, a high-level strategy workshop, which is mainly focused for for our sponsors and those associated closely around the sponsors, which is mainly for our high level CEOs <coughs> and high level management. And this will be on vision and alignment. And this will be headed by our CEO, Damien McKinney, who is also the CEO of McKinney Rogers International. And they have had the experience of working with companies like Carly, Heineken, Walmart, and this is some of the techniques that they use in these companies. And we thought that having a high level workshop like this for CEOs and senior management would go a long way in building that vision and alignment needed to enable companies to grow and be more focused on, on, on alignment and change strategy. We're very fortunate, uh, Virgin Atlantic uh, and the Virgin brand is probably one of the most recognizable brands in the world. And it's probably uh, got the most successful and recognisable entrepreneur in Richard Branson with his head. So there's a, there's a, a natural fit between Virgin Atlantic and uh, what the what the BEF is, is trying to achieve. So for us, it wasn't about standing on the sidelines. It was about talking with, with Damon and Chris and seeing how can we help, how can we get involved and, and, and support what you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, entrepreneurialism is uh, you 
you know, an engine for change. It is about making things um, different. It's about creating opportunities. And I think we've all got a part to play in, in, in how we can help the BEF um, achieve that. So we had, uh, had conversations with, uh, with Chris and Damien, um, and since then, um, you know, Peter uh, earlier did mention, obviously, about the, the, the free Wi-Fi uh, connectivity. Uh, we've now got our, our Wi-Fi mushroom on the roof. The simplest process ever, but it, it, it's up, it's running, and that makes it uh, easily available for people to, to get onto the, the internet um, you know, free and, and access things that will help their development, help their businesses to, uh, to prosper, or help them to explore opportunities where they may be able to, uh, to create a business. So we've got the, the, the Wi-Fi mushroom, and I'd, I'd sort of fully endorse anyone else getting out there to, uh, to sort of get on board and help us get the 100% the company. And this is how the Wi-Fi spot is built, and how the model is built. We work the country into the 11 parishes, worked out in terms of land mass, percentage of the island, the population, and then worked out how many spots are within that particular parish, and what is the, the proximity of the population to that spot, and how easily accessible is that spot. So it is not based on, if I'm sitting outside on a rock and I can get Wi-Fi, is can I easily get from that rock to a spot? So if I'm living in the village, if I'm living in, in say, Dells Road, and I'm, I'm a poor family, and I can't afford to have Wi-Fi at my home, could I walk down my Virgin's office and get Wi-Fi and still do a homework project? So it's based on that. Based on trying to get to those, those spots that are thinned out, we have a grant from the Tourism Development Corporation to, to specifically put Wi-Fi in, in the St. Andrew, St. Joseph area. And we're in the process now of, of installing five spots on the East Coast. Two in Bathsheba, one in Bell Plain, one in Cabo Wash. Uh, the one at uh, Rum House has been installed. The one in Rest Haven is in the process of being installed, which is in Bathsheba. Then there's Cabo Wash, and then there is uh, Sand Dunes in Bell Plain that we're working on currently. So we're looking at ways of how we can actually fill in some of those gaps. We've gone out to the umbrella bodies, for example, like the SBA, and as well as individuals who come in and offer special packages. We know that advertising is extremely expensive, and to that end, we've you know set out long-term goals and a vision for entrepreneur from start to finish. Um, you don't achieve success starting a business in day one, day two, first year. So, and we know that monies are hard to come by, so what we've done is offer special packages, sometimes given advertising for free. Um, I'm sure it's something that the pub, John Public wouldn't know. But it is difficult sometimes also in working with individual entrepreneurs because, you know, today they're up, tomorrow they're down, it's, it's you know, and, and working with the umbrella bodies, you always tend to have a better feel for, you know, providing any kind of assistance. Setup time for businesses is, 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 is a measure in, in many indices yeah. that measure, you know, competitiveness. As we know, the World Economic Forum's competitiveness report just was launched this last week. And Barbados has, has done, uh, we've dropped a couple of spots. We went down to 44, uh, from 42. Um, and there are clearly areas identified there uh, where we need to uh, do better than we're doing right now. So we are actually through the one of the projects that the Cavill School of Business is doing, which is in alignment with with the foundation's work, is to is to establish a a number of I would call them row, row, benchmarks. Uh, so, for instance, that could be well, that would be one of them. I would imagine how long does it take to set up a business? But that would be one example. So. We need to be measuring performance against what does best look like in terms of government services. Yes. It's not just about government, by the way, uh, but certainly government uh, and the public sector have a key role to play. So we are seeking to influence uh, the change there by publicizing and, and discussing with the, with the authorities what changes would need to be made and how they could do it. It's government's challenge with resources as well. But in terms of the, the bigger companies, what are they doing? Um, I think that it's, well, we've got some of them here, um, and we appreciate that. 
there are several others. And they all they all don't get they all don't get the limelight. Um, you, you saw automotive art, so have, have got a mentorship. I've got a sort of an entrepreneurship competition going. I, I am working with several people in the private sector as we speak to create an angel investor network. That capital uh, and the mentorship that would go with it, because I don't think people would generally put their money where there isn't a sort of a mentorship element attached to it, will come from more developed, successful companies. And, and we're working on that. Um, so, but at the end of the day, we are, we are a volunteer group, essentially. We, we, and we have very, very limited resources. So uh, we, we rely on, on lots of other stakeholders to work with us uh, to execute. We're not about executing. Hmm. We're about identifying the, the, the ecosystem and where it's weak, if you like, hmm. and where it's strong, and then working with whoever the right stakeholder is. Like BYBT, they already have a member mentorship program. So they are a partner in, in, in taking on that project, Cable School of Business, in, in, in some of these uh, matri uh, these measures, you know, um, to measure how we how, how we're performing, but it is going to take, you know, we need more people. Uh, going to be honest with you, in the in the in the, in the public service, that are key that are key partners in, in creating this ecosystem, whether it's in the, uh, the corporate affairs office or whether it's in the town planning office or whether it is in the legal justice system. Actually, That's the, these are all areas where where we have to make a lot more progress. So, but everybody, I think it was said earlier by, by Nick, and to great credit to Virgin, has taken the view that they're in this environment, they want to see it improve. And if, if everybody had that view uh, and did something about it, <laughs> did something about it, then we could really move.